Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Memorial services for Charlotte Diane Jacobs, age 62, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. Thursday at St. John's Evangelical Church with Rev. John Richter officiating. The family will receive friends from 10 to 11 a.m. at the church. Cullman Funeral Home is directing. Dr. Jacobs passed away on Thursday. Funeral services for Blanche Cole of Cullman are incomplete and will be announced later by Moss Service Funeral Home. Ms. Cole passed away in Tulane Hospital in New Orleans. Shirley Ratliff Putney passed away on Friday. Graveside services will be held today at Mount Tabor Cemetery in Gum Springs. Pastor Steve Williams will officiate. No viewing or visitation is planned. Moss Service Funeral Home is directing. Funeral services for Evelyn Sandlin Bates, age 85, of Bremen, will be held today at 12 p.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Ray Ponder will officiate. Interment will be in the Addington Chapel Cemetery. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Ms. Bates passed away on Friday. The family will receive friends today from 10 a.m. until 12 noon at Hansville Funeral Home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. to today on two. It is Monday, the 25th day of February, the last week of February. Whoa, and it's going to rain. Oh, more rain? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know if I could take much more of this rain. Well, my son in Iowa said the same thing about snow. Oh. Yeah, oh, more snow is coming. <laughs> so I guess we'll take the rain. I okay. think we will. We should just <laughs> be quiet right. and happy. <laughs> Our weather is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet of Cherokee Avenue. Here's the weather almanac for the 25th of February. The average high temperature is 61. The average low is 34. The record high 80 in 1930. The record low 9 in 1967. Sunset this afternoon at 540 and sunrise tomorrow morning at 619. There's the satellite picture. And see that blue stuff? That's oh, yeah. more snow <laughs> yeah. headed across the country. And you can see the rain, especially in South Alabama, but we'll probably see some of that today or tonight. Here's our forecast. Cloudy, windy, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, a high near 60. Cloudy, high wind advisory in effect for tonight, 100% chance of rain. Low of 46 tomorrow, maybe a little bit of sunshine, otherwise windy. Still a 30% chance of rain, a high of 52. Middle of the week, cooler temperatures, but sunshine. 50 on Wednesday, 46 Thursday, 43 on Friday. Saturday, 38 for a high temperature. Hmm. Winter just isn't going to give up, is it? No, it is. <laughs> oh, we. we had a prominent member of the community pass away over the weekend. Yes, we did. Miss Blanche Cole, she and her husband brought Kentucky Fried Chicken into yes, Coleman. They did. How mm -hmm. many ever years ago? And Blanche was such a, a wonderful lady and uh, we had the pleasure of knowing her and, and so our you know, we extend our warmest um, oh sincere um, 
thoughts and condolences, mm -hmm. thank you, Ted, to uh, the family. Um, she was just a very interesting lady. I really liked Blanche right. a lot. And Blanche's uh, daughter and son-in-law still run the KFC franchises here. Kent and mm -hmm. Mimi Weir uh, yeah. run it. So, uh, mm -hmm. and they've really, you know, it started out kind of as a mom and pop, and it's it's still in the family. So yeah. I'm glad for them. And they've got, I think, three locations now, don't they? At least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So anyway. They've done well. So yeah, they really have. And uh, there were some celebrations going on over the weekend. Well, the little black dress yes. took place, and of course that is such a big event for Wallace State. It's a big fun for them and women just love to go and so I went with my friend Teresa Hill because it is strictly females no men allowed <laughs> and so anyway we we went and had a great time and um, you know when I was working at United Way I thought this was such a great fundraiser I mean mm -hmm. just a great concept a great idea it was held at TP Country Club and uh, Cosmic Sound it was the oh, DJ okay. and the women get kind of um, they you know there are no guys there so well I say that there are waiters we had right. celebrity waiters and then the Wallace State cheerleaders boys and girls were uh, the valet parking crew oh, so okay. um, very well organized all kinds of great they had auction items they had all kinds of little prizes and stuff for everybody you could get your picture taken it was just very very nice it did a great job and so Suzanne um, oh give me help me out here we all know where Suzanne from Harbin. Uh, yes, Harbin. Um, anyway, she uh, is in charge of this and just does an excellent job. And I know behind the scenes kind of stuff because I playing girlfriend Gala for United Way. There's a lot of work involved, but mm -hmm. there was a lot of detail that was oh, it's just nice, really, really nice. Over 200 ladies there, so so it was a great event. I don't know how much money they made, but um, this is their third year and first time I've been able to go. So I really enjoyed okay. it. Okay, very yeah. good. Well, let's see. We probably have a Facebook friend of the day. Who's our friend today? Yes, and I love it. Jack Scott loves Auburn football and the New York Yankees. Well, we've been getting these Auburn fans. I'm just so excited. I, but I've noticed that <laughs> since the football season is over, we have now had Auburn fans. Well, they're coming out of the closet. They're finally saying it's okay. I can identify myself now. <laughs> yes, I've noticed that too. But that's okay. Hey, that's good. At least they're willing to admit they're an Auburn fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and who's our guest today? Ann Mullins is going to be here to talk to us about Better Business Bureau. And then I guess George is here to talk about what's happening in the news. That's what's coming up next, so stay tuned. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat.
Time for news and comment on a Monday morning. Well, it's like the Coleman Times has uh, announced uh, this weekend. Coleman will be the home for the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. I guess this is going to be a project uh, that they're going to spend about $17 million on. We were in competition with Gunnersville, and I don't know what other cities were, uh, were uh, where they were else, but nonetheless, uh, they're saying that the Interstate Highway, to Exit 222, or soon to be, hopefully, uh, Exit 222, will be a great place for tourists to uh, stop on their way south to Florida and other places, the Gulf Coast and such. Uh, more on that, I'm sure, as uh, time goes on. Billy Coleman could be the last school superintendent ever elected in Coleman County. We talked about this last week at a school board meeting last week. Uh, the uh, legislative team was there listening to um, proponents who support this idea. Coleman uh, County is one of approximately 150 school systems, and that's all in the nation that they elect theirs. Apparently, it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot better, easier to get rid of somebody whenever you are appointed because if they don't do a good job then they can be turned loose there's more flexibility plus and, and I, I believe it's a good idea if you're going to spend the last couple of years of, of a four-year term running for office you don't have time to do your job you know and it's so expensive anyway chamber 70th annual meeting uh, speaking of billy coleman uh, he was honored of course at the uh, chamber meeting this uh, past thursday i understood because of the weather and everything that it was a bit unnerving in an atrium, you're lightning all over the place, and you're looking at through a, a glass ceiling. And some of the glass did not hold. There were leaks. People had to move their chairs around because of that. It'll be interesting to see if they hold another one there. Nearly 2,000 people attended the Second Amendment rally in Huntsville Saturday. Locally in Coleman, there were about 100 people who attended. Uh, holding, of course, uh, standing up for the Second Amendment and the right to carry a, a gun and such. Also, you know, it's, well, next Tuesday will be the 50th anniversary. That's not really the right term. Fifty years ago, we lost Patsy Cline. Unlike Jim Reeves, uh, who had a, a widow who took care of his music and would continue to release some of the stuff that he had recorded and had not been released uh, on record, Patsy Cline didn't have that. So all you have is what she did in a short lifespan. But what's kind of interesting is that one of the authors of, uh, uh, and the author of the Jim Reeves book, which is the untold story, uh, did a very good job in putting new background music to some of Jim's albums. In fact, one of Jim's songs, uh, I know one that was released back, you know, everyone did a cover of that, but it is uh, in the top ten, or was as of about a month ago, top ten in Europe. Because people over there really did like Jim Reeves. Uh, but the same guy has done the same with uh, Patsy Cline, the Divine Miss Cline. And it's interesting to hear new vocals, and uh, not vocals, but new music in the background. Of course, it's hard to imagine that, uh, you know, a, a Patsy Cline song that's sounding any different. But it, this, I, I bought this uh, about, I guess it was last week, and been listening to it. And very, of course, I love Patsy Cline. You know, who doesn't? But... Fifty years ago, she crashed. In fact, what's happening is in uh, Camden, Tennessee, they're going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the plane crash that killed her, Hawkshaw Hawkins, let's see, Cowboy Copas, and uh, her, Randy Hughes, I guess it was her manager, and all those people. But uh, they're going to be having a big event in Camden, Tennessee next week and celebrating that. I don't know. It seems like the strange, as we go, the farther we go along, with things like Oscars and Emmys and, and this kind of a thing, the weirder people act when it comes to performing. We had, uh, can you believe a guy hosting the show saying about a woman's anatomy? You know, uh, what's going on with that? Uh, I, I, I couldn't believe that. I looked at that and I thought, man, talk about no class, you know. Anyway, Argo won the best picture. I haven't seen it. A lot of times that's usually the case. Some of these movies that come out later in the year uh, have the biggest profile. It's, it's easier to remember those and some maybe that showed up earlier in the year. So that made it. Uh, people talking about how George uh, Spielberg, uh, Stephen, what's his name, George Spielberg, uh, Steven Spielberg, Steven, yeah, how he was sort of shunned because he did the movie on Lincoln. Of course, Lincoln was Republican now, wasn't he? So some Hollywood just won't won't pay attention to those kind of doggone uh, things. It, 
historical biopics and such as that, sometimes they don't do very well. Uh, but Argo won Best Picture, and uh, Life of Pi was, uh, Dennis and I were talking about it this morning, Life of Pi is about a tiger. But only, a, what, about 15% of the movie has a real tiger in it. So you say, gosh, what's all this? You know, we, why did they even do that? In, in today's uh, animation world, uh, it's really uh, easy to create those effects. And by the way, anything, anytime you hear the term green screen or whenever you have chroma key, the ability for that newscaster or that uh, weather uh, forecaster who's looking out across the board and pointing to the system here and a system there, that's the green screen effect. The fellow that invented that, invented that for um, television was actually did it for movies. And he died last week. And his effect was seen in some of the early Disney shows, and Disney uh, movies and such. But uh, anyway, just a bit of trivia there. Stay tuned. More for today on two after this. around your house but we don't make stuff we make ovens dual fuel double ovens and they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on we only make things for one room the best room your kitchen we're devoted to it and you can feel it in everything we make nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Westminster residents enjoy the benefits of a highly trained staff for personal care services including bathing and dressing, medication management, and a state-of-the-art medical alert system. Each apartment is equipped with high-speed internet access, a flat-screen TV, full bath with grab bars and seated showers, plus kitchenettes, microwave, and refrigerator. Westminster Assisted Living. Come live with us. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Let's give away some prizes. Sounds like a good All idea. All right. Me. Everybody's favorite part of the show. Let's see what we have for today. The day pass at Hurricane Creek Park is one of our prizes. And I think we have something from Bojangles, don't we? Yes, we do. The two-piece meal deal, leg thigh fixin' and a biscuit. That's, That's our prizes for today. Let's look at our merchant ads and see what's going on. Starting with Auto Tech, foreign and domestic auto repair and service. David Methvin does it all. He's located in Vinemont on County Road 1354. And Blizzard of the Month is a choco covered strawberry blizzard, and that sweet strawberry is blended with rich chocolate chunks and creamy vanilla soft serve from Dairy Queen. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them over 50 years for auto body repair and towing. You can still count on them today. That's Mullins Body Shop. And Barnett Tax Service, it's that time of the year. She's been serving Coleman now for 41 years, and no appointment is necessary. You could just go to her a location right there at 402 Main Avenue, one block just north of the post office, Barnett Tax Service. 
The difference is not when you open our bottle, it's when you open our door. Borden Family Pharmacy, providing immunizations for flu, pneumonia, meningitis, shingles, and whooping cough. And Renard's Gallery and Gifts. They're located at 314 First Avenue Southeast. They have jewelry, framing, prints available. Renard'sGallery.com is where you go to visit them on the web. Renard's Gallery and Gifts. Night Free Insurance Agency on First Avenue Southeast and on the internet, night-freeinsurance.com providing insurance for over three generations. Medical Arts Apothecary is a trusted part of your family for now 50 years. Family-owned business, personalized care, making a difference every day. That's Medical Arts Apothecary. And fitness opportunities available at the Wellness and Aquatic Center. They have the indoor pool, and of course they have the complete fitness center, weights, cardio, professional training, indoor walking track. Baldwin Counseling Center and Dr. Howard Rogers is the man you need to talk to. He can help you with individual or family counseling, weight loss problems. You want some privacy, you need to talk, having a problem, call him. There we go with some of the merchant ads. The difference is not when you open our bottle, it's when you open our door. Which advertiser are we talking about? 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. And we have the two-piece meal deal from Bojangles and the day pass to Hurricane Creek Park, which you may want to save until warmer weather. <laughs> yeah, probably not today or tomorrow when it rains and everything. I wonder if anybody uh, tries rappelling in the rain. I don't we know. We should ask Paige. Yeah. She does stuff like that yeah. once in a while. I've done that before. I don't a... know if I want to try rappelling, but it's a <laughs> nice day. But anyway, there are other things you can do at Hurricane Creek Park, like picnic and so forth. It's a good and place. Hiking trails, biking trails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, our question again for today, the difference is not when you open our bottle, it's when you open our door. Which advertiser are we talking about? 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. And we don't have anybody taking a guess for today, so let's look at the rest of our merchant ads. People's Tires Brake and Alignment Center, flat tire repair, half price today and every Monday on passenger and light truck tires located on Catherine Street. People's Tires. And spring blooms with the colors of Sorelli. I was by there the other day at Doug Dog at Jewelers, and they do have such a great selection. And Sorelli is so popular. I see it on all the women out there. Let's go buy Doug Doggett's and buy some. Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. Browsers always welcome. Gift certificates always available at Deb's Bookstore. And Mr. Hicks Menswear, it is prom season, so if you need to rent a tuxedo or get formal wear, this is the place you need to go. It's a trusted source at Mr. Hicks Menswear, and he does have his top coats third off. Tires for Less is more than just tires. They do oil changes, minor engine repair, replace shocks and brakes. Come and see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. And Barnett Tax Service doing tax returns, electronic filing, bookkeeping services, including the W-2s and the 1099s. And, of course, she can do your direct deposit or debit card, pick up the refund check at the office. Whatever it is that you want, she can have it done for you. Finders Keepers has furniture, collectibles, home decor, jewelry, antiques. They have everything, a different store every day. And if you haven't been in there, you need to check it out. Very unique. Uniform place is featuring the Landau, which has got come up with a new smart stretch fabric. It's new, breathable, comfortable, and durable fabric at the Uniform Place. Earl's Body Shop reminds you, move over for emergency vehicles. Of course, they do towing, local, and long distance. Earl's Body Shop is on Highway 31 North. Cups Accounting and Tax Service does quality service at very reasonable rates. Check with Cups before you pay too much. They appreciate your business, and of course they do personal business, corporate, and farm accounts. Cups Accounting and Tax Service. Inspire the Heart. This is Heart Month in February. H. Chance Christian Bookstore reminds you they have music, novels, Maibo tablets, and gifts. They're in the South Coleman Shopping Center. And those are the merchant ads we have for today, and I think we have at least one birthday to talk about on the 25th of February. I guess that's... Sierra. Sierra White. Mm -hmm. Okay, spelled a little differently, but her birthday will be put into, her name will be put into the drawing on Friday, where she has that possibility of winning an 8x10 portrait from Baker Photography and an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And coming up next, we'll talk to Ann Mullins with the Better Business Bureau.
Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Karen. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Seems like the scams never stop. They don't. Never do. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't because there's people out there that want something for nothing. That's right. Ann Mullins is our guest from the Better Business Bureau. And this is a scam that it deals with the do not call. It does. And which they knew that they could get to you that way because uh, it would just seem very legitimate because there is a do not call list right. and there mm -hmm. hopefully everybody is signed up on it and if not maybe after today they'll be signed up on it but they are calling and, and asking you either are you on the do not call list and if you say yes you're already on it then they say well I need to verify some information uh, and which is just to get your personal information or if you say I'm not on the list then they'll tell you how you can get on that list but you have to give them your personal information to get on that list which is definitely not what you have to do. So right. if they call you saying anything about this, hang up on them because it is not legitimate. They will not call you. This is a privilege that you can get on, but it's up to you to do it. They're not going to call you and ask you to get on it. Right. So it's strictly something you have to do yourself if you want to get on this list. So nobody's going to call you about it. Uh, and and the only information that you provide is your phone number. You're right. Your name Nothing and your phone else. number. Right. So, you know, there would definitely not be a reason to give your credit card information right. because they don't charge you for this. So, right. you know, but uh -huh. you'll be surprised how many people will just follow right through and do that. So, uh, and sometimes, you know, they might not even ask for a credit card, but they'll ask for enough of your personal information to where they can find out all of that themselves and pull it up. So, and, you know, take over your identity. So, mm -hmm. uh, just don't ever respond to somebody about anything like that when you don't know who you're talking to. You know, if you're slightly interested or think it could be something legitimate hang up and call that organization or that company or whatever mm -hmm. but don't do it over the phone when somebody calls you i really highly suggest you don't answer the phone if you don't know who it is you know right. especially yes. if you have caller id mm -hmm. because once you get on that do not call list the people that are just really trying to solicit your business cannot call you anymore right. other than the ones you're doing business with yes. so mm -hmm. if you are doing business with a certain credit card company they can call you, say to upgrade your credit card, but if you don't want them to, say, please put me on your do not call list, mm -hmm. and then they, they won't even call you. It does not stop scammers from calling you. That's why I say if you're on this list, don't pick up the phone if it's not somebody that you recognize that phone number. Mm -hmm. Charities can call you and politicians right. can call you. There's and, nothing we can do about that. surveys. Yes. So there's Although something they, we can do. Although you don't have to answer them if you don't want to. And sometimes they disguise the surveys. Exactly. I would really not. Uh, I wouldn't recommend answering that on the phone either. Tell them right. send you something in writing if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but to get on that list, you go to do not call dot gov, and or this eight 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 three eight two one two two two. And it's free. And this is legitimate. This is These legitimate. are legitimate sites. And it lasts forever. Once you get on this list, you used to have tea like after five years or so, you'd have to go back and sign up. You do not anymore. Okay. Once you're on there, unless you go back in to, to get off of it, once you are on there, you're on there. Mm -hmm. We've also talked before about uh, if you don't want to get, receive the credit card offers that you get in the mail, the pre-approved credit card offers. These do originate, like the credit bureau can give out names of good standing credit people to the, uh, these credit companies and to um, like insurance companies. But that is all they can give out, not your personal information stuff, but just like, I mean, just your name or whatever. So if you don't want to receive them anymore, then you go to optoutprescreen.com. And okay. it'll show you on there where you just sign up that you do not want to get these anymore. 
again, if you decided, well, you know, maybe that was that's really easy to get a new credit card if, because they know I'm already approved. You want back on it, you can go back in and reverse it and say mm -hmm. you want to opt back in on it. Uh, I really don't suggest doing that because it's real easy to get one anyway if you want to. But that way you don't have to worry about somebody stealing it out of your mailbox, turning it in in your name with their uh, address, and then they're using a credit card that you know nothing about until mm -hmm. you start getting calls saying, you have, why haven't you paid this credit card? And then you realize, whoops, somebody's yeah. got, you know, done that. So uh, just don't have them coming in the mail. And if you do get them in the mail, shred them if you don't want right. to use them. Mm -hmm. Don't just throw them in the garbage because, again, somebody could do that. Um, there's also another website that you can go to and find out lots of information. It's www.privacyrights.org. When you go to this website, there's lots of information on there, but go on the left side, you'll see a list, and click on identity theft, where it's info about identity theft. And then you'll see a, a screen come up where you can take a little quiz to see how susceptible you are to identity theft. And it's very uh, interesting. It's fun to do. Uh, just go through there and answer those questions. And if you are answering yes to a lot of them that says 10 points, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good thing to get a big score on this test. Uh, so, but it really will open your eyes to thinking of what are things that make you susceptible where they can get your information uh -huh. so easily that you just are not thinking about. So if you get a chance, you have access to the web, go to that website and uh, take that little quiz and just see how you come out. And, so uh, how did you come out? I come out great. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got hardly any scores because I don't do all that stuff anymore. Trust me, when you work for the Better Business Bureau, you don't trust anybody okay. more. And, uh, and again, that website, privacyrights.org? Dot org. Okay, okay. I'll have to check that out yeah, and see what happens when I do Yeah, that. I want to see what your score is. Okay. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> Thank you. We'll have more of Today on 2 right after this. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side. Selling cookies is about the big picture. You have to have a goal. A big goal. Something you and your team want to do in the world. We choose where the money goes. A trip. An adventure. Helping people out. Helping a lot of people out. And about the money. We are responsible for it. Handling it. Managing it. Tracking it. Doing great things with it. This is business. Girl business. The biggest girl-run business in the world. Did you think this was just about cookies? Now it's time for Community Billboards, brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Coleman County Republican Women present dinner with Lee Davis, the radio personality on 101.1. That's going to be a Friday, March the 8th at 6 o'clock, located at the Point First at the Point at the First Baptist Church. Tickets are $20 and available at Pam Willingham's shop around the corner and must be purchased in advance. A dinner fundraiser is sponsored by the Child Development Center, and that's going to be on Friday, March the 1st from 4 to 7.30, and that is located right there on Highway 31. Dinner includes Jumbo Loaded Potato with choice of toppings and drink, also baked goods sale, also proceeds benefit the center. And the MS Walk is going to be taking place on Saturday, March the 9th in Heritage Park. Check-in is at 8 a.m. The walk begins at 10. It says rain or shine, come out and support people living with MS in Alabama. If you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can email it to channel2coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, and be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman, spell out the number 2. Our weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. 
Weather forecast for today, cloudy, windy, 60% chance of rain, a high of 60. Cloudy and windy, a high wind advisory in effect for tonight. 100% chance of rain, low of 46. More of the same tomorrow with a 30% chance of rain and a high of 52. Tomorrow on Today on 2, who's coming to see us? Miss Betty Whitten's going to be here and that she is a resident at Westminster Assisted Living. And she's going to talk to us a little bit about how it is to live there. That sounds yeah, very interesting. That's our show for today. Coming up next, Teresa, Cooking with Teresa, brought to you by Traditions Bank.